Hello everyone, this is Sunset Duck 2 and welcome to another mod overview, this time on Colorama, a mod that allows you to colour planks, bricks and stone bricks. Uh, use paint, stain, primer or remove it. And there is a possibility of about 16 million colours. So, what you want to do is get yourself a paintbrush with a wall block and a stick. And then from there you want a empty paint can and then using water and dyes you can get access to the different colours. But if you want stainer you need coal or charcoal, for primer you'll want clay and for the remover you want redstone. Now any of these you can place in the world, you can't the empty paint can, so keep that in mind. And you can stain wood planks, prime wood planks, stain bricks, or prime them. Now what you want to do obviously is get your paintbrush and then interact with any of the different blocks. Uh, different paint cans I should say technically. I'll just sort of remove that there. So if you right click here, you can see on the tooltip it says contain stainer. If so I apply that to ones that haven't been touched yet, you can see the different changes there with it being stained. If I happen to break it, it's supposed to be that you can still pick these up and use them elsewhere. Uh, for the wooden planks, I haven't had so much luck with that yet. Um, unless I'm just doing it wrong and I probably just need an axe. But uh, you can definitely pick these up, obviously, as you can tell, from what it shows in GEI. But I haven't had too much success with planks yet. Um, otherwise, you can obviously apply other things, but if you want to remove stainer, paint, or otherwise, just use a cauldron with water in it. And then just refill the cauldron, and you should be good to go. I'm not sure if tanks work at all, tank mods. Um, you can add primer if you want. Just try with some blank blocks here. So you can see it change there. Again, should be able to hopefully break these and pick them up. A few slate on. We'll just remove that, got the remover, which obviously removes the paint, primer, and stainer from the blocks. And we've got our paint we can obviously use in each of these if we want it, but it's best to have some primer on it first. I'll just put some stainer on just to see if that's also possible. which you can. So you can put some stainer on, or you can put some primer on if you wish, before actually applying the paint. It's not... obviously it does require you to use the other two first, but um, yeah, you definitely can use either, you don't have to just use only primer or something, for example. If I put remover on, and then try putting paint on, which that's now empty. Obviously the remover doesn't allow you to do it, but yeah. In terms of combining colours though, I'll try something like green and brown, just because why not? It's an odd colour. You can also do that if you wish as well. Keep applying it, and the durability will go down. We use a different colour instead, such as orange. We can change it to that. We we'll get red. We we'll can change it to that as well. And that's how you get your 16 million colours, is obviously just applying it from paint can to paint can. We just happen to break this. See if we can actually get the colour. And it just seems to be that it's just primed if we place it back in the world, it doesn't keep the colour. So keep that in mind when using it. 
Um, as I said, obviously, you can use it for planks, you can use it for bricks, and you can use it for these stone brick variations. As far as I know, that's about it. If we try on something like cobble, for example, we'll just get the water here. Get some primer. And it doesn't seem to do it anymore, obviously. So it only works on the following blocks. Otherwise though, in terms of breaking these, it should be pretty easy. You can just pick them up, you're good to go. That's obviously an empty can, so I can't do much about that. But uh, if I place that down, it still seems to keep its amount left that's in the can. It's not completely empty just yet. So if you do have any that has left over paint or otherwise in it, it'll still keep the amount that's left. Rather than just giving you a complete empty or a complete full, it'll keep the amount that's left in there. Otherwise though, thanks so much for watching and goodbye.